Um, basically, underneath here, you've got these little white discs. And I don't know if you you can see, but it's it's basically a round, flat, white disc. And uh, basically, the ball can roll over this disc from any side and cause it to, to tilt. Um, that disc is not just a disc. On the, on the bottom side is a stem. The stem is pointed straight down towards the underside of the play field, okay? Perpendicular. Uh, and so you've got this stem. So what happens if the disc is tilted in any direction, 360, or 360 degrees, yes, that's right. If the, the, that disc is tilted in any direction from the ball rolling over it, the stem will move alongside the disc because it's all one piece, right? Okay, so now we have a stem going underneath the play field, and that stem, if the ball uh, rolls over the, the disc, the stem will move, and so it's being deflected uh, like an arm. Under the stem, under the very tip of the stem, is a spoon. Uh, it's, it's a spoon-shaped piece of plastic, and it's connected to a switch. And so at, at the at-rest position, the tip of the stem is directly in the very, very middle of that spoon, okay? Uh, and that's the at-rest position where the, the switch is, is open. As soon as that stem, which is connected to the disc on top, as soon as that stem moves in any direction, uh, the spoon is pushed down because the, uh, the, the shape of it, right, the, the edges of the spoon are higher up. So if the stem uh, flies to the side, it, uh, it will ride up the side of that spoon and uh, the, the spoon is pushed down. The bottom side of the spoon is connected to a switch and uh, that, that the act of the spoon being forced down closes the switch, which tells the game the pop bumper has been fired. Um, then the game fires completely separate from, so that's just describing the switch of how the game knows that a ball is, you know, by the pop upper, like uh, right around the pop upper. That's just describing that switch. A whole other part to the pop bumper is the bumper action of like, you know, it flinging the ball away. That's a totally separate piece. That is a solenoid that, um, once the switch has told the game uh, the ball is there, the CPU then sends a signal, okay, fire that solenoid. Um, and that solenoid basically is an up-down solenoid that's connected to a bracket that holds uh, a ring, which is this metal thing here. So this thing goes, uh, is, is a, a ring that goes all around the entire pop bumper, and there's two rods going straight into the play field. Um, when the solenoid fires, it's like I said, it's underneath the machine. There is an up-down solenoid. The solenoid simply pulls down on both stems, and uh, it's metal. And so, regardless of where the ball is around the pop bumper, um, the 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 moment you know, so the switch tells the game, ball's there. Game then fires the the, the solenoid, pulls down on the ring, and the 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 ring hits the ball. Uh, and the ring is at an angle such that it doesn't just like smash down on the ball, otherwise the ball would go nowhere. The, the edges of the ring are kind of rounded to force the ball away. Um, and that's how a pop bumper works. Now, it's not, there's the switch, which we first talked about, then we talked about the solenoid, which gives it its firing action. The third element to a pop bumper is the lighting. Uh, almost all pumpers have, pop bumpers have lights in them. Uh, and again, that's just totally independent of the, the switch and the solenoid. There is a light in it which the game can also control. Uh, the pop bumper is one of the only mechanisms, that and the slingshots are the two that come to mind, standard pinball mechanisms, that combine elements from all three main wiring circuits to the game. Switches, solenoids, and lamps. Uh, there's a whole mess of wiring underneath the game, but for the most part, everything falls in those three categories. Switches, solenoids, and lamps. Both pop bumpers and slingshots uh, combine all three elements into one mechanism. And for that reason, they are time consuming to work on. They're not hard. They're, you know, every pop bumper pretty much works the same, uh, but they're, they're very time consuming to work on. There's, there's a lot of stuff to them. 
Uh, hopefully that answers your question, Pascal. Good question. Thanks for asking.